Alright, you want to know, this week's episode of Game of Thrones was better than last week's, and you want to know why? Because it had a butt in it, and they were like really showcasing that butt. I'm going to be honest with you, when they started the show, and they have a little viewer discretion advisor that says like, violence, curse words, if it doesn't say nudity, I'm already disappointed. We did have a butt in this episode, it was a man's butt, its appearance was demanded, which I liked. It wasn't a great butt, but it was a butt. Also, we saw the red woman taking a bath. I don't really like her, but those are some nice titties. Are gay people allowed to say stuff like that anymore? It seemed like some kind of lesbianic tension happening between the red woman and Queen Baratheon. I thought it was going to be some kind of come-to-my-window type situation, but then the scene just ended. We got Tyrion up on the chopping block. Jamie. 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 I need a champion to fight to the death for me. Wouldn't it be funny if you fought for me and lost? Jamie's just like, ha <laughs> yeah, it'd be hilarious, Tyrion. For a second, I thought Jamie was going to be Cersei's champion. But then they got some daddy bear to do it. Listen, we don't need to worry about Tyrion dying, because if you ask me, the whole thing of Game of Thrones is George R. R. Martin is just trimming the fat until we only have the most fucked up good guys left. Tyrion, Arya, Egret, Bronn, Bran, Jon. Like, Jon Snow's like the least fucked, but he's like fucked, like more fucked up than like almost anyone in Lord of the Rings. This episode had some nice surprise moments in it, like the kind you expect from Game of Thrones. I still can't believe that there's only three episodes left. Like, it doesn't feel like a lot has really happened this season compared to other seasons. But it was still good. Blame it on the booty, but I'm never going to stop watching this show.